What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel. If you haven't been here before, I want to welcome y'all. Today I'm going to be talking about different colored epoxies to use on your taxidermy work. How I have overlooked this in the past, I have no idea. I knew that it was sold. I knew that it was available. I've just never bought any of it because I kind of kept things so minimalist that I was actually making it a little bit harder on myself and not really saving a whole lot of money in the long run. So what I've done, I have bought a few different colors of epoxy. Show you what we got over here. I've always used the brown, and that has been what I've always used on everything. Now I have also got pink, of, which is actually, I believe, called flesh, maybe. And I've got black. They also sell a white, which would probably come in handy, too. But I don't use enough of it, I don't think, to need to buy a whole uh, pound of it. Now, you can buy it in a smaller container, which I might end up doing in the future. But for the little bit of white that I need, I just go ahead and paint it for right now. Anyway, let me show y'all how I've used it on these deer heads right here and how it might make a difference in the way that you decide to finish up your deer heads. This right here, y'all have seen some of my previous nose videos where I've used the texturing tool on brown and then gone over it and uh, finger painted the black over the pink once y'all painted it pink. Right here, you can see I've got it in the black epoxy. That hasn't been painted or anything yet, y'all. It's just black epoxy. So now I can go in there, I can airbrush this, a flesh over that, and then just rub the paint right off the top of those nodules and end up with the pink in between the nodules. Then I can go back over it with my brown or whatever color you like doing on your nose of your buck. In here, in the nostrils, I've got pink. That's just epoxy. That's no paint right now which is really cool because it's kind of hard sometimes once you've airbrushed in here to get that pink to show up the way you want it to. This way you've already got a base coat of pink that is solid. So once you airbrush this and blend that in, you can go back with a paintbrush with a little bit of water on it and you can actually take out some of that paint and your pink will come right back. And then I'll use just a little bit of pink in my airbrush just to fade that in. Works out great. Up here on the eye, I've used the brown in the tear duct. This would be a great place for white, uh, but there again, I can go back and, and just airbrush over that, no big deal. And here around the eye, I've used the black. So I mean, y'all can see, like that actually looks almost like a finished eye. You know, aside from touching up some of these spots where the leather's showing, that looks really great with that black epoxy. Uh, really like how it turned out. Y'all can see on these deer, I've done the same thing. I mean, they, they're not painted. These deer are not painted at all, and they almost have the finished look to them. It's going to save me a lot of time on paint uh, finish work. So, guys, what I'm going to do to make this easier on y'all, if y'all decide to order some of this, I've got all of my Amazon links in the description down below this video. If you'll just click on the description or where it says more, you can go under there and I'm going to put the links to all this epoxy sculpt on Amazon in all the different colors. So if y'all want to go down there and order some, it doesn't cost you any more to order it off my link or anything. Uh, it will just take you directly to that product and you can go ahead and order it straight from that link. Makes it a whole lot easier to find. So anyways, good to see y'all again. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope this helps y'all out. We'll see y'all on the next video.